In this video, we're going to take a look at the dmax function. The D stands for database. And before we look at the dmax function, we're just going to look at the ordinary max function. So before I put it in, I'm going to label it so people know what it is that we're doing here. So uh, maximum profit. And I'm going to uh, right align that so that it doesn't get chopped off when I put my max function here. Uh, this is one of the functions that happens to be on the home tab over here and uh, it's under the auto sum group here and uh, I want max okay and because I put it in column G it looks for the nearest set of numbers to find the max of and uh, this will actually work but I don't really want those two to be selected because they're not really part of my data so I'm just gonna select these cells right here just to click and drag and hit enter and it tells me that the maximum number in that range is 105 now, sometimes you might want to be a little more specific about what you're finding the maximum profit for. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the maximum profit um, let's try that again. Maximum profit for apple trees. Okay, and again, that needs to be right aligned so it doesn't get cut off when we put our formula here. Okay, so I want just the apple trees profit. So I want this row and this row and this row, these three rows. And the maximum profit there is 105, and which happens to be the same as we had here. Um, so let's do the D max function, and that's going to be on our formulas tab here. And uh, there is no book for database functions, even if you look at these here. So we have to go to Insert Function and select the category Database. Uh, if that's the last category you've used, like it is for me, we just did the dmin function in another video, um, it will still come up for you. And uh, it'll give you a list of all of your database functions here. And uh, they all start with the letter D. And I want dmax. And click on OK. And I have to tell it where my database is. This is my database here. Make sure you include the column headings. You need to tell it which field I want. And I can give column 5 or the word profit. This is the fifth column of a five column table. And then the last thing is it wants to know my criteria. Well, uh, my criteria range is this. Uh, criteria range is done exactly the same as it's done for an advanced filter. So you have column headings, then you have values down below and you really need to understand how advanced filters work before you can do any of the D functions. So if you haven't done advanced filters, uh, you know, go check up on that before uh, trying to figure out the D function. And let's click on OK. And it's telling me that 105 is the maximum for my apple trees. And here's an apple tree, and here's an apple tree, and here's an apple tree. And the maximum number there is 105. Okay. Uh, we could probably format that with a dollar sign, and um, I guess I'll do this one then too. Okay, um, so it's just looking at the apple trees. Um, I can, if I want to edit this, you know, I can go in here and I can change the five to the word profit. If I do have to put, whoops, you have to spell it right first of all. And you have to put quotation marks around it. If you don't put quotation marks around it, it doesn't know what you're talking about. It thinks you're talking about a function called profit, and there isn't one. So let's hit the enter key, and uh, it still works. I get the exact same value. Uh, let's just see how it works here. Uh, let's go in here and change the 75 to 175. And as soon as we do, when I hit the enter key right now, um, both of these change to 175 because that is now the biggest value uh, for all of my trees, as well as being the biggest value for any one of my apple trees. And um, you, know, you can change the criteria range here. It doesn't have to be A1 to A2. Uh, if I double click on this, you see I get a nice blue box around this and I get a, a red box around these two cells. Uh, but I can change the range. You know, I can add this stuff here. I can um, add pair down here below. Um, you know, pretty much anything that works for an advanced filter. Uh, you can also name ranges. I can go in here and I can name this range. Or I can go up here and I can name this range. Uh, let's go, uh, let's name this one, we'll call it uh, tree table, and we'll name this, and we'll call that um, criteria, and hit enter. And now if I go back here and uh, click 
click on the insert function it'll come up and uh, instead of C7 I'm going to put tree table and you see as soon as I finish typing the word table this comes up and down here I'm going to put the word criteria and whoops I did something wrong there apparently um, well, let's go look and see um, criteria it says uh, it doesn't like the value. Let me cancel that. Let me select these two values there. And it does say criteria. And it is working down here. And I'm going to change this to pair and see what I get. And my pear trees have this and this. Whoops. And the maximum is 96. Uh, so it's working. And I'm not quite sure why it's uh, doing that to us. Um, let's go double click click on the FX again. Um, yeah, I'm a little puzzled why that's there. Um, it's calculating it correctly. Uh, the one thing you do need to be careful of here, I'm not going to worry about that since it's working, is you do need to worry about um, if you ever change the range here. You know, let's say I wanted to add, you know, this uh, and get the pear trees are within a certain height range, or if I wanted to change this back to apple and then I wanted to get the apple trees and the pear trees. Um, the database range never changes, so you're not going to have to go in and edit your formula for that. Uh, but you will have to go in and change that criteria value uh, if you change the criteria rule over here. So that's the um, Dmax function, the database function in Excel 2016.